Hello, this is uh, Dave, and welcome to Equity Story. I'm with uh, the wonderful uh, Wolf, and um, welcome uh, to Equity Story. And this is general share advice and not personal advice. And uh, Wolf, we're going to have a look at uh, a few announcements today. We're going to mm -hmm. have a look at some stocks that are looking good for for next week, mm -hmm. and we're going to have a look today very quickly on some oversold stories that we want to get on the watch list. So uh, I think one of those is actually looking like a buy, Wolfie. Yep. Um, but let's get a, on the watch list and, and start having a look at them. We will. And look, Dave, I, I've got a, a very interesting thought right now. It's because it looks like risk is back on when you see Ethereum and Bitcoin breaking out. <laughs> so, so this is on the weekly charts. Uh, you know, and you know that there's a lot of risk in that sort of sort of stuff in the crypto space. And when that's breaking out uh, after about four or five months, really below the trends, you know, maybe that's how we've got a bit of punting going on. So yeah, I think there is a little bit more confidence coming back in the market. Wolf. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, we saw the Dow break up. I still think it needs to do more. Do you, I was a little bit, uh, you know, pessimistic. Uh, you know, we're looking sort of it, it could do a little bit of that and then go lower. Um, and there's still issues out there, obviously, with Putin. And I mm. think it, in some ways, the war is at a very, very dangerous moment Absolutely. where Putin has got his back to the wall. And, you know, and, and for that reason, I, you know, there's an argument. I spoke to a lovely lady the other day and she said, Dave, I'm just going to wait till the war's finished and then I'm going to start investing again. And I, I, I like that attitude. I thought that was Absolutely. that was that was great. So absolutely no problems with it. So. Uh, and again, so you look at the Dow and, you know, you look, even look at the NASDAQ. It's not quite back. You know, this needs to do a bit more. Uh, mm -hmm. And let's have a look at our market and see what we're doing. And we look good, Wolf. I mean, uh -huh. we're helped a lot by the commodity plays. Uh, you, know, for, you know, unfortunately, it's uh, when I say unfortunately or fortunately, whatever. I mean, you know, a lot of our stories do quite well in this horrible environment that we're in at the moment. But uh, if you look at our market, um, Wow, how that looks it's fantastic. Actually, it's, actually, it's actually very similar to the Toronto market uh, because they are exactly like us. They're, they're very much um, commodity focused, right? And they are hitting all time highs. So we are definitely, those two exchanges are doing very, very, very well. Um, Wolf, um, mm -hmm. interesting enough, we talked about those inflation stocks that people might want mm -hmm. to buy. And I think uh, there's a few people for looking at them. Um, I mean, I'm not saying Equity Story members have uh, have brought Amazon up billions and billions of dollars. So, and oh, come go, on, we and do go. have some whales in our, in our um, We in do our... have some wealthy. We do have some very wealthy members. I know, I do, but uh, uh, no, I don't think quite this wealthy. But you know, if you look at the Google looking really good and Apple looking great and Nvidia. Did, didn't you say that, that Buffett listens to our daily podcasts? I yeah, he I... does. Warren loves us. He absolutely hmm. does. Yeah, and I think uh, short-term trading, he loves it. You know. Lots of trend lines, you know, and anything then, under. And then I he plagiarizes our stuff and sends it to his uh, big, uh, you know, posse of, of advisors. Well, I think he looks, you know, we don't buy anything below trend line. I think, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, he, he buys everything below trend line. <laughs> yes, so, because he, he wants to make them go over the trend lines. That's why he does it. So then he looks pretty good when he starts buying them officially well he has this or that he has that power doesn't he He takes over the company he oh, fixes yeah. it so exactly um maybe one day we'll be we'll, we'll, we'll be... how to fix a trend get buffett on on, on the case <laughs> yeah just get him to fix the books and uh, fine uh, and we're going to have a look at actually wolf some oversold stories today yes yep. that, that maybe a young buffett might be looking at now we're not buying these yet there is one we quite like mm -hmm. uh but Let's get them on the watch list anyway. Okay. Let's, let's do, okay. Should we go through them or should we go through the quick two announcements no, this morning? Yeah, let's go through the few announcements. Uh, PMV, um, looking quite good on the charts, Wolf. A good mm -hmm. growth story. Um, it's called Premier Investments. You said earlier today, possibly the premier retailer in our space. Uh, Peter Alexander, great product. Uh, fantastic mm -hmm. product, those pajamas. Uh, they really do. Uh, have you? Oh, my gosh. Have you got the, which ones have you got? Pink. Oh, I, I don't want to know about your I know you wanted to know. In fact, in fact, you know what? We might have a mufti day where we're going to do this in pajamas and I want to see those pajamas. Okay. Smooth and silky. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to have that pajama day next week, Wednesday. We're going to present in our pajamas. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. 
right? Okay, don't forget. I have a pajama day. I, got, I, gonna... I like it. I like they, it. Let's do it. They have them at school. I want to see those pajamas. I have okay. to. Uh, but uh, the chart looks very good, Wolf. Mm -hmm. I like this. Mm -hmm. uh, dividend, a bit small, 2.5%. I mean, it's okay. My question to you, mm -hmm. as a long-term investor, yep. would you be buying this story? All right. Let, let me ask a question back to you. Okay. Would you, be, would you have been happy to own this story for the last two, three years? Um, yes. Okay. So, so I think on that premise, I'd say yes. Um, because it just shows you how well the management has done to navigate through COVID, tech sell off, all these fluctuations with the retailers in the COVID. And look at it. It's still doing extremely well. You are backing the management, which seems to be, you know, pardon the pun, the premier management in this space. So if you if you were happy to own it through you know for the last three years, why wouldn't you want to be owning it right now? It makes no sense. Right. And it's a bit of it's near trend lines, it's bouncing up, it looks very very, very good. And yeah, and okay, excellent time if to get into this retailer PMV. Yep. Um Wolf CXO, mm -hmm. uh beautiful looking chart. Mm -hmm. Um the management uh, go on, what did they do? They did a they did a party. Go out party, basically go out at the top. So the CEO has quit. Um, I think it cost him by on a, on a Wednesday because they didn't say they've got someone in replacement. They said, oh, we're going to start have to start looking. I think I think she's party. She's got a new fashion going. Everyone's going to be getting out of the top. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Does that mean that we have to quit now? Uh, no, we're not at the top, mate. We're still at the bottom. We're, we're, we've got a long way to oh, go. Oh, okay. Dave, I thought we're going to be right at the top. Obviously, okay. Okay, so we've still got another 20 years to go. I get yeah. it. Um, so we're here for the long term. You still you still live in a little hut up in Brisbane. And, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Unless you see me in a mansion somewhere, maybe, I don't know, beach, then yeah, maybe I'll go to the top, but definitely not at the top yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he's, she's, he's done a party, go to the top. Um, never a good look. However, it's better better look than getting fired or just being dismissed without any explanation, right? So uh, at least he said uh, he's quit to pursue other personal interests for, you know, personal reasons. So that that's okay, um, depending who they get. But, you know, it's still going to be probably a little bit weighing on the shares because you've got to have a captain at the steering the ship and then we've got to have one at the moment. So potentially a bit of weakness. Uh, Dave, I don't know whether it's going to come back to the dollar or not. You know, whenever there's a change at the top, there's going to be always a little bit of turmoil. Um, so let's see what happens, but I'd say I'm going to leave it to you, you know, technically wise, what would you do with this if you were trading this, but fundamentally I'm still liking it for the long term. I've got for the longer term, because this is not a long term story. This is more of a lithium story. So it's a longer term trade, but I'm still happy with what's where they're heading with it, right? Where they're going to be. Yeah, I think as a, as a trade, I'm, I, I think you're you're looking to take chips off the table and take profits if you, okay. especially if you bought it when we we've been putting this on. I mean, I think the last time we put on was that little buy signal there. Um, you know, it's up, it's up nearly ninety percent since then, Wolf. But oh, I, I, is it a hundred? Yeah, maybe. Was, 100. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, Double up. But um, yeah, I think so, Wolf. It's just run a long way from trend. It, it's look look at that um little price action we had back here with that sort of candle, maybe doing something a little bit like that. Well, so I suppose then Dave, you've got a change in management, then I suppose it gives you that, that excuse to take some profits. Yeah. And I look think, at story maybe. I think so. And uh, you can always get back in and trade it, but it's just, it just had a run. Well, okay. AK, which mm -hmm. I thought at the time was a, a wonderful hot stock. Mm -hmm. And I got my stop loss two cents out. Um, I'm hoping you saved the day a little bit because, um, you had a lot of people on Friday saying, should you sell it? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we were expecting such a strong sell-off of resources last week. But I, if you... I, I was trying to, to sort of steer the ship saying that it's a volatile week last week with the commodities. So just be patient. Wait for the last moment if you do have to sell out, but trying to give it a little bit of leeway. Um, because, you know, we had one of those weeks where it started pretty terribly on the um, on the commodity front, but it sort of came around towards the end of the week. But look, if you if whoever whoever sold out of this right at the end of the week, which is okay, right? It's not the end of the world. I think you're saying, Dave, it's time to get back in. 
Well, you can get back in, yeah, definitely. I mean, you've got to protect your money, but the chart's looking very, very good. And those who stayed in and didn't listen to me, congratulations. I think we're all we're all learning a lesson there. Um, or, or at least gave their stop loss a little bit more. Yes, you get extra few cents, exactly. And, you know? and, and, who, and who looked at the market and said, right, right, maybe this is a bit strong against the... Re but, mm -hmm. uh, and again, today is nice to see UBS has come out with a target price of $12.40 mm -hmm. up here. Yeah. Uh, which is good, uh, which is great to see. So um, I think it, it's a good chance it could test at 12. And there's been a lot of very positive articles about AK Wolf even saying this could uh, this could go a lot higher than where it is. I don't want to say what how high these articles said because it's you know it's a bit spooky. But they're, they're, you know there's, there's potentially uh, there's potentially uh, um, a, a lot higher to go. Yep. Uh, look, I, I think so. It, this is a trade, a good trade. You know, it's a producer. Uh, it's got revenues. It's got a lot of things going for it. So I think looks good. Looks good fundamentally. And looks good technically. So if you're still in it, well done to you. It, maybe you can make some money on this. It's so far it's looking looking good for you. Wolf BKW. Mm -hmm. Now, last week you 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 talked about this as a long long term play. play right? I put it on as I trade, Dave. I mean, I was how how brave was I last week? Yeah, well, sort of. Well, it's not very brave, actually, a long-term trade. I think that's a bit of a, oh, you know, it's actually quite pathetic. Hey, yeah, a lot. Of, a long. I made it. A long-term trade. <laughs> it's the most pathetic, like, little excuse. Oh, over three years, it should do quite well. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Right. But luckily, luckily for you, it's it's starting to do well straight away. Exactly. And, and again, um, it wasn't a trade. The i your idea is to hold this for a long time, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, but it's good to see um, Citigroup have come out with a, a short-term, well, a, a medium-term target price of 26. I believe mm -hmm. this could go back to the highs. Obviously, very impressed with the announcement yesterday. So, a good call. Well Thank done. <laughs> um, beginner's luck, but very, very good. Oh, God, right. I'm getting praise from you. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, like, okay, beginner's luck, but it's good, looking good. Look, I'm very happy for those that got in last week. <laughs> For the long term and already making money right that, but it's not about that it's for me it's still a long-term play with a really good story but if you were if you got in there and you're seeing already like 10 percent maybe profits um is, is it is it would you take a profit dave or would you actually start buying is this a trade actually is that my question for you is this a trade for next week wolf you've got this on as a long-term play right I know, I know. listen i think that's people's choice if they if, if they're up 10 percent and they want to take a profit let them do it okay. um you know if they're in it for the long haul um stick to it uh, look stick to it fund right um disclaimer of course fund owns it so of course long term for me okay um wolf um just yeah. a few stories. Um, yeah, let's go through the stories. Well, I just want to, yeah, Whitehaven looking good, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. Look at some of these war stories, which, you know, are obviously holding up really well. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, BHP, looking very juicy for next week, not far off a buy signal. So possibly there's a chance this could go back and retest 53, 54. Mm -hmm. Like it. But one I'm liking very much, Wolfie, is IGO. Um, this story oh. had a buy signal two weeks ago, and mm -hmm. now I'm seeing a breakout on it. Uh, lovely 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 looking chart lovely price action and again uh, what did we hear about copper copper yeah i think i saw an article today saying that's still a big deficit we, even with the production and you know this year we still got a big deficit in the copper uh in other words supply demand equation which means copper price strong here to stay um so for me Copper players, nickel players, lithium players, and this is all—all all three rolled into one in IGO. Looks, that's why it's looking good, Dave. I think this is what I, I suppose, what a right place at the right time to be with IGO. Definitely, Art Wolf. I just noticed little DGL. Yes. There you go. Patience, Great. doesn't it? Patience pays off. It's a. We, how many questions do we had? Should I be getting out? What you know? What's happening? This is after one week we put on the the trade, and people are going, ah, uh, it's it's coming back. You know, should I be selling? Patience. Well, yeah, but you can understand, Wolf. This is, you know, we've got World War Three on the horizon. Yeah, I mean, we do. People we do. are nervous. People are really nervous. I don't mm. think people would be so jumpy in normal times. They'd be saying, you know, give it a bit of time. I, I think people are nervous at the moment. And, and but, I, they, I, I, I they, understand. In our defense, though, in our defense, uh, we put these things on with a bit of thought to it, right? 
why do we put this straighter? Because the story underneath it is actually very good and actually suits the war theme in a way, right? Mm-hmm. In some sort of way, either the war theme or maybe Australian theme in one way. So we don't put, we don't, you know, scattergun approach. We think about this very carefully. So that's why we put some of these things on. We do, we do, Wolf. <sighs> okay, now I, I just have to sing our praises yeah. because no one else does. Right now. <laughs> Yes. A number of stocks you thought about very carefully. Yes. <laughs> are stocks you like. Now, none of these are buy. So, everyone listen out there. We're not saying buy them because it's not technically. Mm-hmm. There's one There's one that I will say buy. There right? is one. Uh, there is one. There's always one. Um, but we're going to have a look at this, Wolfie. And we're going to go through these stories. There's a number of them. And what we're saying, get them on the watch list, guys. Get them on the watch list. Good stories, oversold potentially one day we can get back into these now um and there's a number of stories here whisper and if i look at whisper we got our beautiful little trend line moving down gradually it's coming down and there's a good chance sometime in the next three or four months we're going to have this trend line somewhere down around that 180 and we can bounce over it and as soon as we get that we're interested in whisper so get whisper on your watch list Mm -hmm. um we've also got sko Mm-hmm. And again, you can see that trend line starting to move. It's gone from 650. It's already down at 578. And again, Wolf, if it keeps going down this hot, this strong, there's a possibility. I think we could buy this if it jumps over 450 and it's over trend. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So on your watch list, 360, another one. Again, we're seeing the trend line come down. So what we're doing, we just want to get back into these stories when the momentum's there. We don't want to be buying this, but we can see the trend line moving down. And there's a possibility, I think, of trying to mash them together uh, as this trend line is moving down, maybe just over 650. That mm-hmm. will be the time. And these are maybe it'll be sometime in the next six months. Uh, NTO, another great story, just ridiculously oversold. Yeah. And again, you can see that trend line. It's already gone down from 350 to 240 uh, to 240, and it's going lower. So, you know, maybe we're going to make, maybe we're going to hold hands somewhere around two dollars sometime in the next six months but get it on your watch list mm-hmm. a story we really like yep uh ptg not mm-hmm. looking too bad only i got a little bit to go so if we can get over that 53 uh maybe we want to see this one swing a little bit wolf and you know what we mean by swinging sort of go up above trend and, st- and have another move a little bit like that sort of move right yep. right so we just want to see it get above trend and swing but it's not looking too bad at all and again, I think the same with AD8. It's not that far from trend. The trend line is coming down. But I think we can make hay and we'll meet somewhere halfway, possibly around 720 sometime in the next few months. Mm-hmm. ALU, mm-hmm. a little bit different, Wolf. This trend line is holding up a little bit. And I think just get on your watch list. If you can get back above that sort of $36 level, well, we're interested in it. Mm-hmm. SDR. Uh, um, I haven't got much to work here with, with Wolf on a, a on a sort of technical point of view, mm-hmm. but I, I think it's going to have to be somewhere at least recovering over six bucks for us to get interested in it. Yep, fair enough. Uh, PLT, again, a superb announcement. Again, we've got the trend line coming down. Hopefully, we can in the next few months we can meet halfway around the sort of mm-hmm. maybe one ten and get yep. over trend. Uh, LIC. Really holding up very, very well. So it's at seventeen ninety now. If we can get above trend, I'd be happy to buy this if we could just get over $18. I don't yep. think I'd need this to swing. Okay. Um, OCL. This is the one, right? Well, I think I think if, if you, you know, what we do, we get out and now we're back in. Yep. I, I think you've got to buy this um, and get back in. Uh, if you like the story, I mean, I think it's very, very good. How so. can you not like the story, Dave? I mean, well, everyone should be loving this story. This is, this is, I mean, I've been calling this for the last two years. This is the best story on ASX, uh, pound for pound. You know, you can wait till Monday morning if you want, just see what happens in this. But I think it, it's certainly back over trend. Mm-hmm. This is when we want to buy it. I mean, if you go back in the, I mean, it's hardly ever gone below trend, this one. But there was a time here went below trend and okay, you're out, but you're back in here, right? You're back in on that move. You believe yeah. the story and maybe... Yeah. Maybe the market's starting to be a little bit more comfortable with, uh, um, like you said, with the war. Uh, yep. Pexa, again, I think this one really needs to to 
get back over nineteen dollars to get interesting in it. Mm -hmm. In it, uh, CDA. Oh my God! Look at that uh, trend line's coming down pretty fast. This is a big fall, right? So this is this is going to probably take a little bit more time. But it, I love the fact that the trend lines have fallen so much. So you know, maybe even nine bucks, we could be back into yeah. it. I think we could make we could we could meet halfway there, possibly yeah. in the next few months. So maybe nine bucks will be when we get back over trend. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why oh. we've got Dicker data no, in no, there. No, that, that doesn't go in there. Uh, <laughs> it, look, it looks very good actually, and so if you're in Dicker data, obviously hold it. It looks great. Must uh, have got distracted for a second. Now West Farmers were a little bit different, so we're happy to look on this on a monthly chart, mm -hmm. and and it, and for you it's a long-term nibble around here, so yeah, you're is. not in it. As as is SHL, which you called right. you called last week. Yep. And again, beginner's luck. You're doing pretty well on it so far. Okay. Um, aristocrat. Yep. Um, one that you didn't call last week, which maybe oh. you, sh you should have. No, done. no, not yet. Not yet. I'm not going to call that one because remember, most of the is in Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we got to wait for that one. Just um, so again, just be patient. War mm. in Ukraine gets over, maybe gets back over forty. Want yep. to get back into AMS. Good AMS. Look at that. You know, phew. I remember when this was 180. Yeah. And 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 thinking sky's the, the limit. And it was should have been. And unfortunately, then we had the tech sell off. And so, uh, so you know what? It doesn't matter. We're not buying it below nah, the trend line. Really but again, we're going to meet. We're going to meet. We're going to meet halfway with this stock wolf somewhere around a dollar ninety five cents. Yeah. And then we can buy it. XRO. Mm -hmm. Likewise, you know what that little trend has come from? What 140 down to 124? Again, we could we could meet around 110, I think, in the next few months. Ideally, I'd love to see it back to 60 day, but I don't think I'll get it. So, so I'll be happy to meet it halfway. <laughs> yeah, well, um, and, and again, SOL is coming back, isn't it? So, a good story. I had a good announcement yesterday. Uh, you know, we're not going to buy it here. There's not enough momentum in it, but if it can get back above trend. Uh, we're interested now, and I'll, I'll throw ARB in there as well, right? Uh, yep. Again, this needs to get over 45. So, you know what, Wolf? There's a number of really interesting, exciting stories on our market that have been extremely strongly. Uh, they've been sold off, right? They've possibly. Just, I'm Dave, but this is not just the small stuff like you know, NTOs and whispers. Mm -hmm. We've got a cross section of to suit everyone's needs, right? You've got the big stories like SHLs, West Farmers, to the little, you know, stories like that. So. We've got a list of 20 that we'll, and we'll probably get and add some more over the next week or so. But this is a good start, starting point to have a reference to what I should be buying. And we've already got one on there that looks like we're back, baby, we're back, OCL. Uh, but the rest of them, we're going to be watching and we're going to be calling them as the weeks go by. Definitely. Um, Wolf, thank you very much for that. It's really interesting. And uh, again, I think uh, PMV, great idea. AKE, it looks like it's going higher. IGO. Uh, I think looking great for next week. Mm -hmm. uh, BHP, uh, uh, um, BHP. Let me have, get the BHP chart up. BHP looking very interesting for next week. So there's a number of really, really interesting stories there for next week, Wolf. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, make some money on some of these. Yep. Um, what I would say, just have a, a quick uh, look. Obviously, those wall stocks still doing well. Commodities are still the play. And uh, I won't do it now. We've done a lot today, but I think Einstein's again. Some of those trends uh, and some of those technical setups are looking pretty good. On that note, Wolf, we are live in one hour, so uh, go and um, take your take your medicine, whatever you take before we go live. Your coffee, maybe maybe a bit of alcoholic drink. We need to be relaxed yeah. when we talk about stocks. So and, see and you back and, in an hour, everyone. And go and iron your pajamas because you're wearing them on on Wednesday. <laughs> That would be exciting. <laughs> All right, Bye. see you, mate. Thanks, Bye. Guys.